again everyone welcome back today we're going to take a look at uh, another product from Annie Chun's and this is one that I haven't seen before at least not locally so this is their spicy miso ramen now I think we've done maybe two or three of these on the channel um, yeah pretty sure but again like I, I've seen a ramen but not the spicy miso ramen so I was kind of excited to try it out and these are a microwavable kind of meal but the cool thing is you can take all the components out of this and you could take it on trail or you could just pop a couple of these in your pantry for uh, some short-term prepping I guess before I uh, destroy the packaging there the nutritional facts if you're interested in those and the ingredients list if you're interested in that but um, but again I it's been noted by a couple of people. I would not take this big thing with me out on trail. Uh, not really preferable. And plus, we always pack out what we pack in, of course. Leave no trace. But within this, you have this little package of noodles, uh, a toppings package, and then a sauce pack. So these are something you could take individually and just make up in your pot so you don't need this big thing of plastic but uh, that's what we're gonna do today <laughs> because we're indoors um, but again you combine all the ingredients with a little water uh, here are the instructions there so uh, does it... actually oh is it okay there we go. So this is <laughs> this is the first one where we where we actually get to use the soup line, because um, normally when we've gotten these, it's just like a quarter cup of water. But this, they actually want you to add up to the line. So there we go. Obviously, ramen has more broth. <laughs> so I actually get to use it. It's first time. It's good stuff. But microwaving on high for two minutes, uh, or just microwave for two minutes. I mean, I. At least my microwave, but unless I can't find it or readily, I don't have a button for for the to put it on high. But maybe some of you do. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just make this up real quick. I'll bring it back, put it in another bowl, and we'll try it out and see if it's any good. All right, so everything should be good to go now. I actually microwaved it a little bit more than the uh, than the standard whatever two minutes it said. It just wasn't quite hot enough at that point. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll transfer this into a bowl. Smells really good. Hopefully I won't drop stuff all over my table. Get in there, noodles. Not too bad. It's one of the cleaner transfers I've ever done. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Little uh, spicy miso ramen. I think we'll just try and get some noodles first and then uh, go back in for a little bit more of the broth. Noodles are nice. Hmm, okay. What do I think of this? So, I actually think that the noodles are particularly nice. I like a little bit fatter ramen noodle. That's me though. And sometimes when you get the super cheap ramen, those noodles just, uh, <clears throat> they don't hold up. But these are actually pretty darn good noodles. Now as far as the broth, the broth is nice. I think it's a little thin. Probably could have added less water and would have been a little happier. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say that it's spicy though. I mean, like not even a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Am I impressed with this at all? I don't. I don't know. I, I'm. I'm a little. It's fine. You know, it, it's it's a fine ramen, but it's not anything that blows my socks off you know 
Yeah, it's just okay. Kind of lacks a little bit of flavor, if I'm just being honest. And, um, yeah, I've had better. I've had better cheap ramen, I think. This meal comes in right around, you know, $2 to $2.50, depending on deals. I think I got this for like two bucks. And it's, uh, I mean, it's reasonable. We're talking, what, <clears throat> you know, 230 calories, which when paired with other stuff is, is not bad. But yeah, just from a, a standard taste uh, profile, I've had way better ramen for a lot cheaper that has more calories in it. So personally, and cheaper. So personally, I, I would probably pass on this, you know, just as a, uh, you know, an, an addition to anything that I do normally. However, Annie Chun's does have several other really good flavors that I do like, so I can't like not recommend the brand. The brand is fine. This one, I think it's a pass. So anyway, in the comments below, if you've tried this one before, let me know what you thought a bit, thought, uh, thought a bit, thought about it. <laughs> Love to hear from you and leave any comments for future videos. If you'd like to see something specifically on the channel, I'd love to hear about those as well. If you'd like to see something reviewed on the channel and want to send it in, the P.O. box is in the description, as well as the Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.